Well, thousands of Green Country veterans are waiting on money from the government, a wait that in some cases is taking more than a year. Are veterans becoming disabled and forgotten? Two News Problem Solver Dina Sill goes to work for vets to get answers. I first enlisted in the Navy in 1969. Sam Slavens remembers his time in the U.S. military like it was yesterday. This is my first time I re-enlisted. I was on board the USS Jason. Sam re-enlisted several times, devoting 21 years to his country. But now that same country he fought so hard to keep safe is letting him down. I filed my last claim with the VA in March of 2012. 13 months later and still no answer. If you send somebody to risk their life and put their life on the line for you, then you owe them a due diligence when they come back. Here at the VA regional office in Muskogee, we're told about 13,000 vets are waiting on their claims. Sam Slavin's claim is one of those. The average wait time here in Muskogee, about 200 days. But the nationwide numbers are even worse. More than 850,000 vets are waiting on claims, with 244,000 of them already waiting at least one year. So we went to Washington to find out why. Uh, taking care of the people who take care of us is a critically important thing. As a veteran himself, U.S. Congressman Jim Bridenstein says the backlog is unacceptable. But he says there is a reason for it. New disabilities coming to light. We've got a lot of troops uh, that have recently come home from Iraq. Uh, now we've got a lot of troops coming home from Afghanistan. Still, he says it's not an excuse. We have to have systems in place that enable the processing of these claims to be more efficient. The Muskogee VA regional office is currently implementing the new paperless processing system and should be fully paperless by the end of the year. In a statement, we were told the Muskogee VA regional office is in position of having no claims pending greater than 125 days by 2015. But what about Sam's claim? Your right. most recent letter of May, yeah. May 22nd, 2012. Yes. Uh -huh. Basically telling you that you need to resubmit a mm -hmm. bunch of stuff. Yes, resubmit the same thing that they've got. And you've done that since then? Yes. Mm -hmm. All my paperwork and everything they've asked me to do is uh, should be in my file. We asked the VA what is holding up Sam's claim. They explained, like most claims that come through, Sam's has several possible disabilities attached to it. Until each individual disability is decided upon, the claim remains open. According to the VA, the holdup on his claim has to do with proving his inability to work, saying, quote, the regional office is seeking information from Mr. Slavin's former employer in support of his claim for individual unemployability. They could not give us an estimated time for completion. And for someone who has already lost two relatives also waiting on their claims, Mr. Slavens just hopes he gets an answer before it's too late. I still feel honored that I had the opportunity to serve my country. I would do it again in a minute. On April 19th, the Department of Veterans Affairs announced it is implementing an initiative to expedite compensation claims decisions for veterans who have waited a year or longer. Those claims will be moved to the front of the list. Now, when speaking with Congressman Bridenstine, he wanted all veterans to know he is dedicated to helping. You can contact his district office here in Tulsa. We also heard from several other lawmakers upset about this backlog. To read their comments, find this story under the Problem Solvers section at KJRH.com. The Problem Solvers will continue to track Sam claim until he gets his benefits. For the Problem Solvers, I'm Dina Silk. Two News works for you. Dina, thanks. To put the Problem Solvers to work for you, head over to KJRH.com, click on the Problem Solvers tab, and fill out the form. Disabled and forgotten. It's something that the Two News team looked into last May, and the response from veterans was overwhelming. So tonight, Two News Problem Solver Dina Silk digs deeper into the backlog of veteran benefit claims, and she finds that promises are being delivered. These are all the guys' names that worked for me back then. We first met Sam Slavens back in May. He, like thousands of other veterans, was waiting on a response from the Department of Veterans Affairs and getting frustrated. I think you're just kind of waiting for me to go away. Maybe I'll go away before they have to process it any further. But Sam, he's not going anywhere. In fact, when we spoke with him in mid-June, he was more determined than ever. The last two months seems like the... Uh, 
They started me kind of in the beginning again. The doctor that I went to see before, I had to go back and see again. After our initial story aired in May, Sam says he received dozens of emails from viewers offering their support. Senator Jim Inhofe and Congressman Jim Bridenstine among those reaching out to him. I feel that my, my case is going forward. Uh, I don't feel that I'm stalemated anymore. When we spoke to the Veterans Affairs in May, we were told the hold up on Mr. Slavin's claim was proving his inability to work. After our story aired, he received a form in the mail from the VA. He took it to his former employer and they immediately signed off on it. It states the employee was uh, under physical uh, restrictions from his doctor when he was working and they accepted early retirement uh, package that was offered to him at, uh, and the employee was not able to perform his work. So when the VA said they were trying to prove your inability to work, that piece of paper proves that now? Yes. And the VA has that? Yes. Finally, just last week, after several emails to the Department of Veterans Affairs, I received this email response. It said, the holdup is over. I immediately took the good news to Sam. I don't think that I would have gotten this far without your help. It says all of your claimed conditions, with the exception of your claim for post-traumatic stress disorder, have been evaluated and completed. You will receive retroactive benefits and a new monthly compensation rate will be effective July 1st, 2013. Great. You took a... a the uh, interview in May, and now it is just the beginning of July, and it's already finished. It's amazing. That's right. His benefits will be retroactive for the past 15 months, and he'll receive his new benefit amount effective this month. As for the PTSD claim, an exam will be scheduled for Sam, and once results are evaluated, a rating decision will be made. And it's been a long, long road. Yes, and it's finally over. Yes, and you been a tremendous help. I, I said, there's no way that I could, you know, express my gratitude. Well, that's enough right there. We were just happy to help. You served our country for 21 years, so we're happy to help over the last few months. Thank you so much. Since January, the backlog in Muskogee has reduced 7%. 30% of claims in Muskogee are now fully electronic. It's estimated by this fall, all claims will be electronic. And as a result of a national initiative enacted back in April, Muskogee was able to make rating decisions on all claims pending more than two years for Oklahoma veterans. In phase two, the focus will shift to claims pending more than one year as of October 31st, 2013. We will, of course, continue to track claims. If you've been waiting a year or more for your benefits, contact us through Problem Solvers on our website, kjrh.com. I'm Dina Silk. I'll see you right back here each weekday morning from 5 to 7. Thank you, Dina. Great work there. For months now, 2 News has been working to get veterans the benefits they deserve while a nationwide backlog is still ongoing. 2 News anchor Dina Silk is doing her part to track down the problem and get some answers. 90 miles east of Tulsa in the small town of Westville, Charles Sawyer waits patiently. From the, the last time I reopened, it's been one month short of two years. Charles dedicated 20 years of his life to the Army, retiring in 1986. Over the years, the injuries he sustained while serving his country have worsened. So he refiled a claim in 2011 for 100 percent unemployability. And the letters just kept coming. And I'd get a letter saying, uh, we're still working on your file. Then I get a letter saying, we need more information on your right knee and sinus condition that I never claimed. Charles is not alone in the waiting game, as 14,000 Oklahoma veterans are currently waiting on their claims to be processed. But for Charles, time is not on his side. I uh, just finished 31 sessions of radiation on my left chest, and uh, that wasn't very pleasant. Charles has stage four lung cancer. At this point, it's not curable, but treatable. Then I seen the segment on TV uh, of the retired soldier that you uh, helped. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, I'll give it a shot. Maybe you can help me too. So we went to work immediately contacting the Department of Veterans Affairs in Muskogee, requesting information on Mr. Sawyer's claim. Two weeks later, I received this email stating a rating decision had been completed and Charles would be getting the money he deserved. It just blows me away that, uh, that it got done that fast. But I'm really grateful for you guys stepping into this and, and getting the matter resolved.
Well, I'm glad we could help, but I'm glad it worked so quick. It worked extremely quick. <laughs> I was, I was dumbfounded. I couldn't believe it when I got the call in two weeks. Charles will be awarded one-time retroactive benefits totaling more than twenty-seven thousand dollars, with a monthly award of twenty-two hundred dollars. I am so happy this is resolved and done with, though. I can get on with my life. Custom interior. A life Charles does not take for granted. Outside of his chemo once a week, he's looking forward to focusing on his family, his hobbies. See the dual exhaust coming out the back. Oh my gosh, and you did this. Mm -hmm. I'm with me and my boys. He may even go back to school. And despite the struggles with the VA, he can reflect on his time in the military with nothing but good memories. If they'd let me, I'd re-enlist tomorrow. <laughs> you bet. We got some fine young men and women serving. Last month, President Obama spoke at the Disabled American Veterans National Convention. He told them the backlog must be eliminated. The president acknowledged progress on the problem has not moved as fast as he wanted, but said he was confident that VA officials are on the right path. The goal remains to have the backlog to zero by 2015. I'm Dina Silk. I'll see you right back here each weekday morning from 5 to 7. And they are making some progress. Dina, thanks. We contacted the Department of Veteran Affairs in Muskogee. They tell us since January, nearly 7,600 claims pending more than 125 days have been completed. 40% of claims in Muskogee are now fully electronic. Efforts are now focused on completing claims pending more than one year as of October 31st of this year. The Muskogee office has already completed 41% of those claims.